Professor White. You could have saved your I don't see color. You could have saved your I could relate to the civil rights movement. I just wanted to know what is the potential well in quantum mechanics. You actually just could have given me an answer. The potential well in quantum mechanics is just a state of minimum potential energy. Instead, the potential well was a place I still left your office drowning in. Dear Professor Helpful, when I told you that I could not find a tutor or other students to study with, you told me that sometimes I'll just be given a textbook and expected to learn it, that nobody was going to hold my hand. And somehow, I know you don't believe that, considering how you and all your collaborators have the whole universe as a textbook, and nobody jacks that funding when you've been working on the same question for decades. But for you, it's community. For me, it's a handout. Dear professor, when you failed me that semester, I was OK. Until I met the boy who told me he told you that he didn't know the exam was that day, so you allowed him to take it days later, and that taught me everything I needed to know about power, how credibility is money in this field, and I'm walking around with some wrong currency. I walk to your office, a quantum conundrum of four women wondering who you will see me as today. You open the door and I collapse into an Aunt Sarah silent, back bombarded by all your racial musings. You open the door and I collapse into a Saffronia. You were openly wondering about my two worlds. How am I really from Chicago or uh, the suburbs? You open the door and I collapse into a sweet thing. I wonder how many of your students you ever emailed about a sex toy business. Dear professor, what really is it that I have left to lose? This is all you wanted anyway. For being the white man who attended black conferences, like you told me, I could just be a model physicist my people could learn from. But like I told you, I couldn't ignore them being slaughtered in the street. Dear professor, condescending asshole, what else do I have to lose? I already spent three years hiding from you, attending no talks, not walking on your floor. I became a ghost in this department. And now, your silence, my last time seeing you, taught me everything I needed to know about the potential well hanging by it.